Watford has access to Gold Munoz. I wasn't going to make this video, but there's a lot to talk about. I'm always late to Watford Sake managers. I heard it on Sky just before Palace and Leicester kicked off. I was thinking if I go on Twitter, the tweet will be there. We've signed a load of free agents and loans. Imran Loser costs 9 million, and I don't think I've seen him. Some weird departures. Who's the Palace? We want to Stoke. They're now challenging for the Championship. Dean leaves left. Chalabar to Fulham for free, apparently. Keena also went to Fulham. Simpanago and Delhi Bashiru. If anyone should be sacking managers, it's Norwich. Two goals, both from Puki. One's a penalty, the other against us. Yeah, Fox won them the championship title twice. But in the Prem, they've lost about 20 games. Or not one in 20 games. Newcastle, Mike Ashley doesn't care. Took ages getting Baffa in when they got relegated. Burnley, they gave Sean Dyche a new contract when they haven't won at home in months. Obviously, you can't sack him. Hassan Hull's lost 9 0 twice, but give him more time. They got a draw at the Etihad, nearly got a draw off Chelsea. They also would have been in trouble if they drew a loss up. For that game I was watching Soccer Saturday, whenever they went to Michael Dawson and they were saying Watford don't deserve anything. The people on WD18, Watford fan channel, said Sackham a few weeks ago. I've only seen Match of the Day and the Brian game in full. That was an awful game and Shane Duffy is scoring who was a fool in Scotland. Right on our sixth hole. Other than Southampton at home, they're giving many of the hard games up to Palace. This is Scott's first game on Boxing Day. Some fans wanted him out of here. Looks like he only lost two home games QPR and Wolves and Stoke. I've been following Leicester since this game. Ask me anything since then, and I should know the answer without googling. Pearson got sacked after making a great escape, and he brought in Manieri. He was the Greece manager, and he lost to the Faroe Islands. He only lost three games, Arsenal twice, and Liverpool. This is the team he had. Most of them are now irrelevant. He had Mares, um, Conte and Rardi. Most of the teams that season were absolute dog, which is why the top three was Leicester, Arsenal and Tottenham. Chelsea were 10th. I 1 million percent said to a family member after this game, that we will win a title in the championship next season. And after that game, the comeback started and the king. In the summer holidays, I went to Skegness, the man of people wearing Leicester shirts. This is the sort of season I was expecting under Vanieri. He got sacked at a Liverpool game or before that. They didn't score in six games in a row. Other than Didi, all the signings were flops. Slomani and Musa, Kaputska, Mendy's at the club still. Benaluan, Mala Wage, who was at Watford. I think he scored against Leicester. Luis Hernandez and Silo. So after that, he went to Nantes, Emiliano Sala's team. That was the team he had. 
Diego Carlos. Thomas there. He goes that top score at 12. They finished 9th. He was there the whole year. Good full now. All three managers that fall on that season won three games. Scott Parker in 10. That Fulham team was weird, they just bought a load of players. He got appointed for Southampton at home and got sacked at Southampton away. Beat Southampton, Huddersfield and Brighton. Then yeah, we joined Roma after Di Francesco lost 3 0 Calazio. He's done well there, beat Juventus. Sampdoria finished 9th. Beat Lazio and Atalanta. Inter. Roma. He was there the season before as well. Replacing Di Francesco again. What the hell? His first game was Roma. I don't even know if he'll get to the January transfer window. I've got to watch his press conferences. He's a funny guy. At least he has Joe Pedro back now. I think that Irish guy said it. He always gets sacked and he's going to a club that always sacks managers. The puzzles know him, which is why they appointed him. They'll probably appoint Claude Peel next. Keep going for Leicester managers. Nigel Pearson, Craig Shakespeare was Leicester manager and he came to Watford for some reason. He's now at Villa.